In this video, we're going to do examples of a few derivatives, most of which use the quotient rule. Uh, so remember that the quotient rule for derivatives is that the derivative with respect to x of f of x over g of x is equal to uh, lo d high, the derivative of the, bo the, the bottom times the derivative of the top, minus high d low, the top, times the derivative of the bottom, all divided by the bottom squared. And so um, that is the quotient rule. So for many of these examples, we will use the quotient rule. Um, but if there's ever a situation where you could simplify and take the derivative more easily without the quotient rule, uh, certainly feel free to do that. So our derivatives are the derivative with respect to x of e to the x plus x over cosine x, the derivative of x to the fourth over x squared plus 3x, the derivative of x squared plus 3x over x to the fourth, and the derivative of natural log of x divided by x squared. Uh, so pause and try those out, and we'll talk about them in a moment. Do get out a piece of paper, try those out on your own before going forward. Okay, for our first problem, uh, the derivative with respect to x of this function, we do need the quotient rule, we cannot simplify this. So it's low cosine x d high, derivative of e to the x is just itself, um, plus derivative of x is 1, minus high, that's e to the x plus x, d low, derivative of cosine of x is negative sine of x, all divided by the bottom squared, that's cosine of x squared. And so we could rewrite that as um, e to the x cosine x plus cosine of x um, minus a negative, so plus e to the x sine x um, minus uh, x times negative sine x, again that's plus x sine x, all divided by cosine squared of x, which we often write in this way for trig functions. Uh, so that is our derivative. All right, next we've got the function x to the fourth over x squared plus 3x. Um, this uh, can't be simplified easily. You could do something with partial fractions, but it's really not worth it. Um, this is not equal to x to the fourth over x squared plus x to the fourth over 3x. We cannot break up the denominator, so these things are not equal. Uh, so we can't simplify that easily. Uh, we are just going to go ahead and take the derivative using the quotient rule. So this is low x squared plus 3x d high. Uh, derivative of x to the fourth is 4x cubed minus high, that's x to the fourth d low. That's 2x plus 3 is the derivative of the bottom, all divided by uh, the bottom squared, x squared plus 3x squared. Um, so we could uh, simplify this. We could rewrite it as uh, distributing that 4x cubed. That would give us 4x um, x cubed times x squared is x to the fifth. We add the exponents when we multiply two values with the same base. Um, plus 4 times 3 is 12x to the fourth minus x to the fourth times 2x. That's uh, 2x to the fifth. Um, minus 3x to the fourth, all divided by um, x squared plus 3x squared. Um, we could uh, multiply out that denominator, um, and that's sort of up to preference. I'm not going to do that, but I am going to continue to simplify. That's equal to 4x to the fifths minus 2x to the fifths. So that's 2x to the fifth uh, plus 12x to the fourth minus 3x to the fourth, that's minus, or sorry, plus 9x to the fourth, all divided by x squared plus 3x squared. And that is our derivative. Now for our next example, we can simplify this. So it's true in general that a plus b over c is equal to a over c plus b over c. We can break up the numerator uh, when we're looking at fractions. Um, so this would be equal to the derivative with respect to x of um, x squared over x to the fourth plus
plus 3x over x to the fourth. And so that is equal to x squared over x to the fourth. Well, we know that x to the uh, a over x to the b is equal to the x to the a minus b. So this is the derivative with respect to x of x to the 2 over x to the 4 is x to the negative 2 plus 3x to the 1 over x to the 4th, that's negative 3. And so this is equal to, um, now using the power rule, we'll take the derivative, negative 2x to the negative 3 plus um, 3 times negative 3x to the negative 4, and that's equal to um, negative 2 over x cubed minus 9 over x to the fourth. Uh, so that is our derivative. We could also use the quotient rule. And if we do use the quotient rule, we will get the same thing. Let's also take it using the quotient rule just for more practice. So using the quotient rule, that's low d high 2x plus 3 minus high x squared plus 3x d low, that's 4x cubed, all over the bottom squared, that's x to the fourth to the eighth, sorry, to the second power, um, to the second power. Um, and so simplifying, that would give us 2x times x to the fourth, that's 2x to the fifth, plus 3x to the fourth, minus x squared times 4x cubed, that's 4x to the fifth, um, minus 12x to the fourth, all divided by x to the fourth squared is x to the eighth. And so we could continue to simplify. We've got a 2x to the fifth minus 4x to the fifth. That's negative 2x to the fifth. Um, plus 3x to the fourth minus 12x to the fourth. That's minus 9x to the fourth. All divided by x to the eighth. Um, as I mentioned, we can um, use, uh, we can separate this fraction uh, because we can separate the numerators, although we cannot separate denominators. This is equal to negative 2x to the fifth divided by x to the eighth minus 9x to the fourth over x to the eighth. And so um, that's equal to negative 2, and then we can subtract those exponents. 5 minus 8 is negative 3, um, minus 9 to the x, 9x to the 4 minus 8 is negative 4. Um, and so that is also the same thing as negative 2 over x to the third minus uh, 9 over x to the fourth. Uh, so we could write that in either of those ways, that either is fine. Uh, but do observe that if you look back, that is the same as the derivative that we found by just simplifying. So again, for that last example, we could either simplify and then take the derivative, or we could take the derivative using the quotient rule. I think that it's easier to simplify first rather than use the quotient rule. All right, last example. The derivative with respect to x of natural log of x over x squared, so that's uh, low d high, derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x, minus high, natural log of x, d low, derivative of x squared is 2x, all over the bottom squared, all over x squared squared. Um, and so we've got uh, x squared times 1 over x, that's just x, minus 2x natural log of x over x to the fourth. Um, if we wish, we could write that as um, 1 minus 2 natural log of x over x to the third, um, just uh, canceling an x out of each of those terms, and that is our derivative. I want to do one more example um, using the quotient rule. Uh, let's do the derivative with respect to x of uh, the cube root of x plus 5 divided by e to the x. Um, so I realized we hadn't done anything with roots, so let's do that one. Um, so using the quotient rule directly, or I will pause and let you try that. So give that a try. So using the quotient rule on this, um, that's low d high, uh, derivative of cube root of x. Um, I'm going to rewrite that cube root of x as x to the one third to help me do that derivative using the power rule. So 
That's one, derivative of x to the 1 3rd is 1 3rd x to the negative 2 thirds. Uh, subtract 1 from the exponent, uh, plus 0. Uh, derivative of 5 is just 0. Minus high d low, so that's cube root of x plus 5. Derivative of the bottom is e to the x. And then that's all divided by the bottom squared. So I can rewrite that as um, e to the x uh, times 1 third times x to the negative 2 thirds. I could write that as um, the cube root of x squared if I wanted to, um, minus the cube root of x, the cube root of x uh, plus 5 times e to the x, and then it's all divided by e to the x times e to the x, e to the x times itself. Uh, so I could simplify that as simplifying, getting rid of 1 e to the x from each term. And so what I've got left is, uh, let's see, um, we've got um, 1 third times um, the cube root of x squared uh, minus the cube root of x minus 5, all divided by 1 e to the x. So that is our derivative.